Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing how to create your own browser extension. So let's get started. First of all, create a new folder and also get, make an icon for your extension. So I have an icon already created, icon.png, and I'll be just copying this into my extension directory. And I'll be using Adam editor for creating my project. You could use any editor you want. I have opened up this extension directory as a project in the Adam editor. So inside that, I have, I'll be creating manifest manifest.json file which will be describing your project and also I will be creating a file my.html which will be uh, serving as the interface for the extension and also my.js will be serving as the logic for my extension so inside this I will start declaring uh, the manifest file manifest underscore version it is a decimal value 2 and the name of your extension which is a string I'll give it as snare streams snare streams and then description um, description which is also a string you could give anything over here it's insane okay you could give anything you want and also the version of your extension that is uh, that's also a string I'm giving it is 1.0 and now you need to define something called a browser action browser action which is a JSON object with two properties uh, default icon which is icon.png for in my case it's also a string and also the default pop-up the default pop-up will be the HTML file that is to be displayed when someone clicks on my extension so pop up that is also an html file my.html that i have already created and also now you need to define the permissions permissions which is an array of permissions okay inside that i'll be using active tab okay i'm just saving it i have successfully created the manifest then now you can create the html file which will be serving as the interface okay uh, let me start doing it html and also a head section and it will be containing the title as usual snare streams and snare. title you could give anything and also the script which is used for implementing the logic src is equal to my.js file my.js file and close the script tag and i will just close the head tag and just start the body tag Okay, body tag inside that I will be using an h2 tag for defining snatch screens h2 you can use CSS styling for giving it a better look and feel so it's up to you for this tutorial purpose I'll be just using a raw HTML but you cannot use usual inline JavaScript okay uh, you need to implement this, this JavaScript logic in a bit different way okay, I'll show it to you soon Okay, http slash slash www.snatchstreams.net slash login.php it's a page from our website for performing the login okay mm. i'm giving it the name login and slash i also create a button to show you how to implement the actions using javascript okay there is Click me, I'll be naming it as click me. Okay. Now just close the body tag and the HTML tag. Okay. That's all with the interface now. And also break it. Otherwise, it could all come in a single line, and I don't like it. Okay. Let's just move on to the implementation of the logic using the JS file. So for that, first of all, you need to add an event listener and also you need to attach an event listener with the button that I have created. You can see I have created a button with an ID link. Okay, so now I am attaching a click event listener to the button that I have created. Okay, and now inside that I have declared that whenever you click on the button, the button takes changes from um, click me to you click me. Okay and that's it now we will see how to install the extension on a browser 
So now let's see how to install the add-on on your browser. So move on to the menu and select add-ons over there extensions over here debug add-ons and over here load temporary add-ons and you can navigate to the extension folder that you have created over there select your manifest file okay just open it you can see your extension has been successfully installed you can see your icon over here whenever you click in uh, you can see your html page popping up here and now when you click this you can see the text changes to you clicked me that is we have implemented the on click listener for this button and now whenever i click on the login button you can see it's basically taking or navigating you into the login page of our website but it is within this extension itself and to say i don't want this to happen instead whenever i click on the link or whenever i click on this link i need it to open the link in a new tab okay for that just move on to the html page that i have created so over here just add a new attribute to the anchor tag that is the target attribute equal to underscore black so now this will be opening your extension sorry your link in a new tab so over here just go to your extension and just click in the login button whenever i click in you can see that the link gets opened up in a new tab so that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you